What size walk in cooler do you need? In this video, I'll help you select the right walk in cooler for that new draft beer system you're planning. Coming up. Hey, Rick Hughes Bell again from Cabaret Design Group, where I share my personal ideas and tips on bar design, draft beer system design, and product reviews. Later in this video, I'll give you today's takeaway. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and check out the show notes and links in the YouTube description below. Now let's jump into the show. First, a little background information is necessary in making any purchasing decision. There are two types of walk-in coolers, prefabricated and built to order as you see here. This story is about the prefabricated variety as shown in this photo. This type of walk-in cooler consists of urethane panels and is economical, easy to expand and relocate. The elements that compose the walk-in cooler are the walls, floor, door, and refrigeration system. The walls, which range from three and a half inches to five inches in thickness, consist of insulation sandwiched between thin sheets of galvanized steel or aluminum. As I mentioned in an earlier post referenced below, walk-in coolers used for beer walls require special design and engineering. Many owners will utilize a rack system to make more efficient use of the cube, and in such applications, a floor system is impractical. Refrigeration systems can be mounted overhead, as seen here, or on a side panel if the room has a low ceiling. The door should have a self-closing mechanism, such as the one shown here, in order to conserve energy. Walk-in coolers can be installed indoors and outdoors and are offered by numerous companies in a wide variety of quick ship sizes as shown in this chart. The size of a walk-in cooler is driven by the amount of beer you sell and the number of brands. A small walk-in cooler can be selected if a bar sells a moderate amount of draft beer. The bar shown here is a system featuring 10 brands of draft beer. As with most bars, it's important to carry at least three of the largest U.S. domestic beers, such as Bud Light, Miller Light, and Coors. Therefore, in this example, that means we have to accommodate space for seven craft beers. The U.S. domestics are commonly sold in half barrels, which are 15 and a half gallons, and craft beers are most commonly sold in sixth barrels called six tells, which are 5.16 gallons, and less commonly in slim quarter barrels that are 7.75 gallons, as shown in this chart. Barrels need to be stacked inside the walk-in cooler, as shown in this photo. Half barrels are normally stacked in racks, and the craft beers are commonly stacked with a device known as a keg series spacer, such as the one manufactured by Devault and featured by many web retailers. The advantage of the keg series spacer is that it allows two kegs of the same product to be connected to the glycol system. Getting back to our example, I've designed the walk-in cooler to have seven brands of six towels along one long wall, double stacked, four slim quarter barrels along the opposite wall double stacked, and three half barrels double stacked on the end wall. Each of the smaller barrels has a row of backups in front of it designated in red. This layout can be downloaded at the end of this article. Here's our actual six foot by eight foot walk-in cooler, which can easily store in excess of 14 brands of draft beer with plenty of backup. Draft beer requires that the temperature be carefully maintained at 38 degrees Fahrenheit, and this is impossible to do when the door of the walk-in cooler is constantly being opened and shut. Therefore, case beer should never be stored in the same walk-in cooler as draft beer. See you next time.